Time of my Rahim, dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Huh? This is Yunus Khan, and I am here with a new topic of biology from class second year. Uh, in the previous classes, we discussed different parts of the respiratory system of the human beings. There is upper respiratory tract, the lower parts of the lower respiratory tract, the lungs have been discussed. Today, we are going to talk about the mechanism of the breathing, how the breathing inhalation and exhalation takes place. That mechanism have to be, to be discussed over here. So our today's topic is the mechanism of breathing or mechanism of respiration. So basically mechanism is what? Mechanism means the inspiration and expiration that is called as mechanism of the breathing. Basically the breathing is uh, completed in two steps. One is inspiration and the other one is expiration. So both of them first have to be defined and then uh, that have to be discussed how this is expiration or inspiration takes place we will talk about it so first of all coming towards the inspiration inspiration is also called as inhalation inhalation or inspiration means taking in of the air when the air is taken inside the body when we take the oxygen into our lungs that is called as inspiration or inhalation and then we uh, when we get rid of the um, uh, uh, air or when we get rid of the carbon dioxide that is called as expiration or exhalation so first step is inspiration that is taking enough air and the second step is the expiration the expelling the expelling the air out taking the air outside the body that is called as expiration so taking enough air and expelling the air out these are the two main steps which are uh, uh, making the breathing complete. Okay, so we will talk about the main mechanism. Uh, what kind of changes takes place in our body because of which inspiration becomes possible and what kind of ch changes then occurs which uh, make the expiration possible in our body. We will talk about those, uh, um, those steps and those uh, changes that takes place in our body but before that the, there is an important thing which uh, have to be discussed over here one is the diagram once again the uh, concerned structures which are involved in the process of inspiration and expiration that have to be discussed and then we must have to talk about the phenomena how these changes takes place so once again we are discussing the diagram this is the trachea bronchi bronchioles and these are the lungs in the previous class we discussed that these are the ribs which have been cut so these are the ribs uh, on both of the sides there are 12 pairs of the ribs making a uh, chest wall on the sides of the lungs it is discussed in it has been discussed in the previous class Below the lungs, there is a dome-shaped structure called as diaphragm. There is a dome-shaped structure which is made of skeletal muscles. So uh, this is called as diaphragm. And diaphragm is a sheet that separates the two uh, cavities in the body. Inside our body, there is a long cavity which is called as body cavity or celome. Celome or body cavity means the cavity inside our body in which different kind of organs are there. For example, our lungs heart, esophagus, trachea, then intestine, the um, stomach, uh, liver, small intestine, large intestine, the pancreas, etc. All these things are there in a cavity inside our body. That cavity is called a celome. There are two main parts of this cavity. There is a special kind of sheet which separates the, this cavity, which uh, differs it into two parts. The upper one, which is uh, um, uh, which is available in the chest region that is called as thoracic cavity and below it is the abdominal cavity okay so this is that sheet made of skeletal muscles which separates both of these cavities from each other and this sheet is called as diaphragm so one thing should be kept in mind the normal position the normal shape of the diaphragm is like a dome it is dome shaped usually in normal conditions during inspiration, what happens that will be discussed in the incoming uh, um, procedure. Okay, second thing is uh, the ribs. So the ribs are connected. These are, for example, the ribs. So the ribs are connected to each other some, uh, through some special kind of muscles, which are called as intercostal muscles. Intercostal muscles. Intercostal muscles are of two kinds. 
these outside uh, red um, muscles which have been shown over here these are called as external intercostal muscles and those muscles which are found on the inner side they are called as internal intercostal muscles so the ribs the ribs contain two kind of muscles uh, external outside externally external intercostal muscle and internally internal intercostal muscles are there so intercostal muscles are the muscles which are present in between the lung uh, in between the ribs for example these are the ribs they have been cut these are the section if we the, the, uh, there is a there is a, a sternum a sternum just at the center of the chest this is the sternum uh, ribs from both the sides comes and they meet they meet the sternum in front so this these are the ribs for example this is one rib and this is another rib so similarly 12 pairs of ribs are there which are present just above the lungs just above the lungs okay so we will talk about these ribs these ribs this rib and this rib these ribs are connected together to each other they are attached to each other through special muscles which are called intercostal muscles intercostal muscles inter means in between in between inter inter means in between and coastal coastal word the word coastal means coastal means anything that is related to ribs is called coastal whenever there is a word uh, a word in front of us that is coastal so this means that this is something which is being talked uh, talk, uh, about the ribs so they, these are the muscles in between the ribs these are the muscles in between the ribs so especially intercostal muscles and the skeletal muscles of the diaphragm they play a very important role in the process of expiration and inspiration means the mechanism of breathing uh, a number of other muscles are also involved but these two kind of muscles are of prime importance these are of prime importance they play a very important role uh, sometimes it is said that the muscles of diaphragm play about 70 to 75 percent role in the uh, inspiration and expiration and rest of 20 to 30 percent is uh, the role is played by the intercostal muscles so most of the role in its inspiration and expiration that is played by the diaphragm how this um, these muscles of the diaphragm play a role in the inspiration and the expiration and how the intercostal muscles are involved we will talk about that but before that one thing to be kept in mind and that is the boyle's law here it is a very important uh, law which have to be discussed over here one thing should be kept in mind according to Boyle's law the pressure is always inversely proportional to the volume if we keep the moles of any substance the number of moles of any substance constant then the pressure is inversely proportional to the volume say for example this is a container for example this is a container and we have a piston a piston with the help of which we can pressurize the uh, surface that encloses the internal volume so for example this is what this is the volume this is the volume of the gas molecules or any molecules inside especially particularly if you talk about the gas molecules so it is of very important of um, uh, uh, prime importance so for example this is the volume and uh, for example for this volume the pressure is two atmosphere for example two atmosphere say for example and if we if we increase the volume or decrease the volume or the, uh, decrease the pressure for example if we Say for example, we, if we increase the volume, so for that we must have to reduce the pressure. For example, the pressure has been reduced, so now the volume is increased here. Now this is the volume of the gas that occupies the internal space. So over here, if you see, we have reduced the 
pressure at 1.5 atmospheric pressure for example 1.5 atmospheric pressure or 0.5 so what happens the volume of the gas molecules is increased so this thing have to be kept in mind that whenever we reduce the pressure volume is increased for same number of moles of a substance and if we increase the pressure then what happens the volume is reduced the volume is reduced same is this thing here with our lungs same phenomena happens here what happens to our lungs whenever our ribs and the diaphragm from below they apply a force so they do what they decrease this for are the force are this pressure do what this decreases the volume inside the lungs there's a pressure on the lungs from below and above from the upper side so what happens the pressure uh, the volume of the lungs is decreased whenever the volume of the lungs is decreased what happens inside the lungs the pressure is, is increased and if we if we do what if we make a space around the lungs the lungs are uh, expanded so what happens as a result of that volume is increased because of which the pressure is decreased and due to which what happens due to which the air rushes out or inside respectively so how that takes place we will discuss with this procedure with the help of this procedure but these were the important things which i want you to discuss it before uh, discussion on the inspiration and expiration this is another thing this is the side view of the ribs if you see this is for you my side view so this is uh, my sternum this is the sternum and these are the ribs in between the ribs these are the intercostal muscles and this is the front view of the ribs this is the front view the front view of the ribs in the center there is a sternum and on the sides the ribs are there so these are the ribs that come here and they meet the sternum in front so this is the front view we will talk about that but before that we have to talk about the um, phenomena that are involved in the uh, elevation or uh, increase or decrease of the uh, volume inside the thoracic cavity so we will talk about that but uh, before that we have to come towards all these have all these things have been discussed now coming towards the main mechanism of the breathing we have to discuss the main mechanism now so during inspiration first of all we have to talk about the inspiration during inspiration what is the inspiration one thing have to, to be kept in mind the inspiration is an active movement active movement means it utilizes energy there is a need of energy for the performance of inspiration for inspiration to be done okay and the expiration is passive passive movement means once inspiration takes place expiration takes place by itself there is no need of energy uh, utilization over here so this is passive movement here there are all kinds of movements which are taking place here they are passive and here energy is utilized in the movements therefore the movements are active movements what change what kind of changes takes place here during inspiration during inspiration the contraction of intercostal muscles takes place first of all first of all these intercostal muscles particularly the external intercostal muscles these intercostal muscles are contracted and they uh, they uh, pull the ribs upward and forward so how these ribs go upward and forward i have an idea i want to demonstrate it this is for example a rib this is a rib one of the ribs when it rests on your lungs so it is like this it is a dome shaped structure once again the ribs are also curved ribs are curved like this this is the sternum for example and these are the two ribs okay so the both the ribs are attached to side walls basically they are attached uh, on the dorsal side to the vertebral column this is for example attached to our hair this is the rib which rests on your uh, lungs during inspiration when inspiration starts inspiration will start so what happens the intercostal muscle between this rib and the other one that contracts when the intercostal muscle contracts it pulls the ribs upward when the rib comes upward it goes forward look at this this is the rib just close to my body wall so what happens when it is pulled up 
what happens it goes upward and at the same time it goes forward so a uh, space is formed over here in between the ribs and the lungs means the ribs are elevated from the lungs so when they are elevated a small space is formed here and further the lungs are what they are spongy in nature so they expand meanwhile meanwhile what happens to the muscles of the diaphragm the skeletal muscles of the diaphragm same case is here with the muscles of diaphragm they are also contracted contraction of the skeletal muscles of the diaphragm so one thing which i have told you that when the skeletal muscles contract they pull the ribs upward and when they go upward they go forward meanwhile at the same time so they go upward and forward making a space in between the ribs and the lungs at the same time the dome shape diaphragm what happens here to is the skeletal muscles of the diaphragm they also contract when they contract they are pulled when they pull as a result of which what happens making it flat when the muscles of the diaphragm contracts it it becomes flat the dome shaped structure is converted into uh, a flat structure so when it is it becomes flat again a space between the diaphragm a space between for example it becomes flat for example it becomes flat now space between the diaphragm and the lungs is produced due to which what happens the ribs are elevated and the diaphragm goes downward because of which above the lungs and below the lungs there is a space due to which what happens due to which the lungs the spongy lungs are expanded they expand because of which when they expand what happens the volume is increased when the lungs are expanded the volumes the volume inside the lungs that is increased and volume is inversely proportional to the pressure so what would happen when the volume is increased pressure will be decreased this means the pressure inside the lungs is decreased as compared to the external pressure because outside the body the external pressure is 760 mm of mercury 760 means what at one atmospheric pressure uh, about so outside our body the pressure the external pressure is 760 mm of mercury when the lungs are expanded because of these changes what happens the internal because of this increase in volume the internal pressure decreases the internal pressure decreases for same number of molecules now to to equalize this pressure to equalize this pressure what happens more volume more number of gas molecules rushes inside and that is basically the air so to equalize this uh, decreased uh, decreased air pressure uh, air rushes inside and inspiration takes place so main changes which takes place here during inspiration the contraction of the intercostal muscles intercostal uh, the ribs are elevated the contraction of the uh, skeletal muscles of the diaphragm so diaphragm become flat so above the lungs and below the lungs a, a space is produced because of which the lungs are expanded so when they expand internal volume is increased when the volume is increased pressure will be decreased so they decrease pressure increase in volume decreases the internal pressure this increase in volume decreases the internal pressure and they decrease pressure will be equalized by the rushing in of the uh, in of the air so during uh, this equalization of the uh, internal pressure the air rushes inside and it results in the inspiration so here what happens the intercostal muscles are uh, muscles contract similarly the muscles of the diaphragm contract so here when they start contraction during contraction energy is utilized and therefore we say these movements are active movements so during inspiration uh, during inspiration these kind of changes takes place because of which air rushes inside and that air contains oxygen this is oxygenated air when it comes here in the lungs gaseous exchange takes place between the alveoli and the uh, blood capillaries the carbon dioxide come here and the oxygen is given to the blood that is handed over to the blood to be conveyed to different parts of the body now in our lungs carbon dioxide is available now what would happen expiration will take place and expiration is totally reverse of the inspiration 
it occurs by itself. It is a passive movement. What happens? First in inspiration, we talked about the contraction of intercostal muscles. Here, the intercostal muscles will be relaxed. Relaxation of the intercostal muscle takes place. So whenever the intercostal muscles become relaxed, this is a rib which have been drawn up. So when the intercostal muscles become relaxed, it goes downward and backward again. Goes downward and backward. So it pushes from the upper side the lungs back. So it exerts a pressure on the lungs. So meanwhile, at the same time, what happens? Relaxation of the muscles of the diaphragm. The muscles of the diaphragm are in contracted position. They have been contracted. They will, oh, they will do what? They will be relaxed. When they become relaxed, it uh, resumes its uh, dome shape again. It becomes dome shape again. When it becomes dome shape, it pushes the lungs from the below side. So from the upper and from the below, the lungs are pressurized here. When the and the intercostal muscles are relaxed and when the muscles of diaphragm are relaxed. So because of that, what, what would happen? The lungs will be pressurized. The lung will, lungs will contract. When they contract, volume will be decreased. And when the volume is decreased, pressure will be increased. So this decrease in volume increases the internal pressure. As a result of that, internal pressure will be increased and to equalize that increase means this at this time the internal pressure is more than 760 millimeter of mercury that is much higher than that so to equalize this internal pressure to that of the external pressure the air goes out the air rushes out and that is the air which contains carbon dioxide carbon dioxide goes out and in this way expiration or exhalation takes place so these are the changes because of which we take in the oxygen and these are the changes because of which we give out the carbon dioxide. So in this way what happens, mechanism of breathing takes place, inspiration and expiration occurs, More, mostly uh, the intercostal muscles and the muscles of diaphragm are involved in there and that is about the whole story of the mechanism of breathing. So this that is the uh, um, end of the story. Uh, if you people have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comments, I will try my best to give the, the answer of those, those questions. Uh, that is enough for today. Next questions, will, next topics will be discussed in next videos. Uh, Till coming next video. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.